What's going on, people? It's my light, Jabo. Imagine we're down here in Dartford in Tesla because they want me to look at their new 2024 Model 3. So without any further ado, let's have a look in it. All right, now starting off with the front, obviously we've had a facelift from the previous generation, fam. And I can't lie, the thing is looking mad sleek now. We've still got the front in there, which has got bare space in there and stuff like that. And then obviously we've got a little, little hole there, fam. Aerodynamic till you get me. Okay, you're done now. And then you've got the lights here doing their thing. Still looking sexy. All right, now moving on to the wheels. I think you get the 18-inch ting as standard, but you can obviously upgrade up to the 19-inch ting if you want. Now, on this wheel, as you can see, we've got a little hubcap kind of thing going on, which is basically aimed at giving you a bit more mileage because it gives you better air resistance. However, it looks a bit boring compared to what the wheel looks like naked. Here, sports mode, stunt mode. I guess this mode is for when you're doing the car around town and you're not really caring about the mileage. And when you're on the motorway, you're not necessarily wanting to stunt. You just want to get to your next destination without running out of battery. You can go to the hubcap mode. But what's good is that you can literally peel them off and put them on yourself. So literally keep the hubcaps in the back of the car and, you know, use them when you want. Now, obviously, you got all the cameras around the car for the 360 view thing. So you got one here. I think we literally got one in the front of the car there as well. We got one on the side here. You know how Tesla do their thing. Bare cameras, see everything and anything. You hear me? Door handles now, open like that, boom. Obviously, do you know what? When you when you open them, whoops. When you open them a little bit, it kind of pushes the car out automatically, fam. Like, man, you feel that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a mad thing still, fam. And obviously, you got it inside the car, but you have to wait. Wait till later in the video for that, you get me? All right, now over to the boot. Obviously, you got the button under here somewhere. Obviously, man pressed it without looking because I'm a professional like that. Automatic tailgate. Is it me? I'm using all the technical terms for this thing because I'm out here trying to get sponsored. Now, inside this thing, obviously, got mad amounts of space. Um, I think you can put the seats down as well. You got a little underneath bit. I don't know if you can see that from where you are. You got a little underneath bit in oh, there. Oh, that's quite deep, actually. It's kind of deep still. Okay, is it generous size there? Can you... Yeah. Oh. It's a bit, do you know what? It's deep. It's a bit mad because it's not a hatchback kind of thing. They've got all this this area here, so big, big boxes. You can't really slap in there. Obviously, it goes down a little bit, but. And inside, it goes far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a bit creepy, like. Inside, inside. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, like. Bro, yeah, it's very, it's very deep in there, fam. I can't lie. I can't lie. It's not deep in there. All right, so inside the thing now, obviously, we've got the electric seat thing now. You know, man likes the technology thing. I do like electric seats, but I prefer the manual thing where I can manually just slap the seat forward, slap the seat back without having to wait for the electric motor to bring the seat back and forth. But let me just slide in here anyway. Whoa. Okay. It was a bit of a fit, bit of a bit of a tight squeeze, obviously. It smells like a new car. It, it do it do have that new car smell, fam. Let me just put my seat forward a little piece. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This feels nice. This, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, do you know what? It don't feel too bad in here. Baby, that kind of like look kind of nice. You look kind of nice, baby. Still, don't let them what? catch you slipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got what? A little cup holder here, yeah. Can I just say, guys, this little storage unit in the middle is actually kind of sick, fam. You got one big storage unit here. If you slide this back, you got the little cup holder there. You got slide this forward now. You got another secondary storage unit with the car cigarette lighter. And you obviously got two spots there where you can slap your phone and have it wirelessly charging whilst you're driving. So it's actually kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you got the, the whole screen here. Where's the indicator? Oh, indicator is left here. F the kick. Okay, so indicator, yeah. Mad. When you're indicating, mad, mad. Let me shut my door. Hold on. Hold on, hold on a minute. So when you're indicating, it shows you which side you're indicating. So right now it's showing me that, the left side of the car. And if I press right, obviously the right car door's open, but it's showing me the right side of the car as well, fam. Just when I press left and right on the indicator. So that's kind of wicked. I kind of prefer the indicator buttons as opposed to the stalk thing. Really? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I would like it. A tech guy? Yeah, yeah, I didn't think I'd like it, but it's, it's all right still. It's all now you got bear going on on this little screen here fam like pedals and steering charging autopilot that's our whole next video obviously the car is stationary at the moment we inside the showroom so i'm not going to try and drive it out the door because i think they can catch me and they got gps inside but you know 
bare things are going on here. Back in the evening. You're back in. You think we can get far? I wonder how much charge. How much charge have they got in here? 216 miles. Yeah, yeah, we can make that. We made that. Yeah, that's the next part of the video, guys. But yeah, no, no, this screen does look very nice. I just don't know how to use anything now because I don't even have a Tesla myself yet. So... What? 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 Hey, wait, wait. Let's get in the back of the car. All right, now into the back seat thing now. Obviously, you know what? The seat in the front is adjusted for where man was sitting. I'm only five foot six though, innit? So oh, it's... Seven. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. My knees have got bare space. My head has got quite a lot of space. I didn't realise you got the panoramic thing here. You see it? Panoramic thing, and it's got a little, got a little tint on it as well. So that if it is a sunny day, the sun shouldn't slap you too hard. I would prefer to have like a cover that I could just drag back. Because sometimes even... Is, it, is that old school? Yeah. Okay, we're in Tesla now anyway. But look at the screen though. Wait, look at the screen. Fam, you got what? You got Disney Plus on here. You got... Wait, let's play Tech Jammer on there. You got, let me see if I can play Tech Jammer. Let me see if I can roll that up for you guys. Hold on real quick. Tech Jammer. Okay, let me see if we can... Yeah, yeah. Let, let me see if I can... Let me see if I can roll something up real quick, fam. Let's go into the playlist. You know, make sure you're subscribed. If you're not already. The brother told me that with the entertainment system in the back of the car... Whoever's watching stuff in the back of the car can have it play in the back of the car speakers on their own solely kind of thing. Whereas what's going on in the front is completely separate. So you can have the kids watching their bubble shark, little shark, baby shark in the back. Babies. Baby shark, baby shark in the back without annoying yourself in the front of the car. Pre the thing though. Yeah, man's what? 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 What sponsor me? Come on. Now, obviously, you know, I'm a Honda E fanboy. I love my little Honda E. Me and it's been going everywhere. But this Tesla has a lot of tech that the Honda E doesn't. And I guess the Honda E has a lot of tech or gimmicks that the Tesla doesn't have either. Like the camera mirrors, the HDMI port, the free pin plug port, which is brilliant for working on the go and wanting to charge your laptop in the car and use it at the same time whilst you're waiting for the car to be charged or whatever. Um, just kind of gimmicky stuff like that the Tesla doesn't have. They could easily put it in a Tesla if they wanted to, but I guess they've just chosen not to do it. But where the Tesla definitely just triumphs over the Honda E, even in terms of value, because I think the Honda E is like 37k, and this is 39k at the moment, is like the mileage that you're getting. You're getting 315 as standard. 300 miles standard. Like, don't quote me on that. I'll put it in the bottom of the screen somewhere, but like 300 miles as standard for 39k and that's like up to 175 miles of charging within 15 minutes whereas my honda e takes the best part of 30 minutes to give me i reckon about 80 miles kind of thing um it's just so much more practical i can get why so many people are jumping on teslas at the moment anyway guys um i'm gonna do another couple of videos for this car if you guys are interested let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to go for a little test drive, make sure you head over to the website in the description section. Book yourself a test drive and see what's going on. It's definitely a good car, fam. I can't lie. Tesla definitely do know what they're doing with the technology that they've put in this car with the heated seats, the fan assisted seats, everything with the simplicity of the design. Um, bruh. I just, I just, I'm just waiting for them to give me one really, can't lie. Anyway, hope you liked the video. I'll catch you in the next one.